Dave Gardner here, along with Coach Pollock of the Northside Monarchs. Coach, on a, a game like tonight, I know you do find a lot of positives. About three plays, really, that kind of turned the, the favor in this game. And talk to us a little bit about what you said to the guys after uh, some of the special teams mishaps. I just don't know we got to work harder and get better. Um, you know, you played the, the number one team in 3A, and you held them to uh, 28 points. Um, thing is, that's the first time probably all season been held under 40, I think. But uh, you don't make those mistakes. We get the ball in key situations where we might be able to do a little something with it. It seemed like the defensive effort was definitely there tonight. Seven sacks, uh, forced five turnovers. Definitely a great uh, showing on the defensive side of the ball today. Right, defense played great. They kept us in the ball game. Can't complain about that. Offense-wise tonight, couldn't get anything going. Um, we kept the defense out on the field a, a long time, but they still made plays. And like I said, only gave up. Actually, only gave up 21 points. So one was a, uh, the kickoff return to start the second half. But you know, like I said, defense gave up 21. Offense just couldn't get anything going tonight. How did you keep the guys focused at, at halftime, being that it was it was 14 to nothing? Uh, tell us a little bit about what you said to them during the half. It's on the offense-wise, we just had to step up. I told the defense they're doing a great job continuing when we come out. Um, but then we had a let down on the special teams play, let them return to open the kickoff. If we don't do that, you know, maybe we stop them again and get a turnover and it's still a 14 nothing ball game. But again, the hold one of the, the best scoring offense in the state to 28 points, that's, that's, that's commendable by the defense. And the offense, that's, that's unacceptable not to score at all. I think the defense really played good coach from, from our point of view. The defense was, I said it before, I think they were pretty much lights out against one of the number, the, actually the top ranked 3A team in the state. So that is a great job by the defense there. Now with the upcoming bye week, are you going to give the guys a little bit of time to rest before it's on the Jones Senior? Oh, no, we're still going to work. We're working. We're going we're gonna to work hard. we got to prepare. Uh, this told them, you know, next year we go to 3A, that would have been a conference game. We already played uh, three other teams from that conference, so it's kind of almost like a conference championship to us. You know, so no, we know we're, we're good finish second in that league, but uh, we got to get ready for our two-way conference. We're going we're gonna to prepare all next week, and then the week after that we'll play uh, Jones, and then we'll go over and play Dixon. Any uh, injuries? I don't think Dante might have been shaking up a little bit on that play, but he should be well to go next game. So with uh, Jones Sr. coming up in two weeks and then Dixon, it's the start of conference play. Do you think we're going to see anything different from the offense, or is the offense that you've been using, has it been working? Well, it's going to be the same type of offense. you gotta, we got to work on some things, get a little bit better. But uh, like I said, didn't, not scoring tonight, but not scoring against anybody is unacceptable. Even if it is the, the uh, top team in the state of 3A ball, we should at least score one, at least one touchdown. But we put ourselves in a position not to do that, and we got to work a little bit harder over here in Northside.